Hello everybody, I'm on location. I am at, where are we at, Sophia? Attic Bookstore. Attic Bookstores in London, Ontario. It's three floors of books and postcards for 25 cents. Can you believe it? We're in the basement part looking at books that, as they are, so they're on sale, they're sale prices, and I've seen some glorious, glorious books, but here's one. I'm in awe. I'm going to turn you around and uh, show you this one. It's gorgeous. So I got it off this bottom shelf. Oh my goodness. I got to zoom out so you can get as much as this as possible. Look at this. The binding is all falling off. I'm even scared to touch it. It's so old. But look. It's $25, but it's, it's a special paper I've never, ever felt before. It's gorgeous, and it changes. So here's the print. It feels one way, and then you get to the edge, and it feels another. I don't even know how you describe that, but it's not like paper that we have today. Oh. <gasps> And look at the sides. Oh my goodness. Just to touch one of these. This whole bottom shelf. Oh, anyways, I'll, I'll uh, turn you around and, and, and you, can, you can drool along with me. Because I can't take them all. Oh, I gotta get up off the floor just a minute. This, this is gonna be ugly. Oh. Okay, let's me around. When you just love to work in a bookstore, I would volunteer just so I could get some books. But this is four, three floors of this. As is, they're called as is. And it's really well laid out with the different categories. Bring it down a little bit. It's floor to ceiling. And this is just the basement. Okay. I gotta look at some more books. I'm back in the messy junk room. That was such an amazing day with my friend Sophia and exploring attic books. I could have stayed there so much longer. There were so many treasures to find, but I thought this would be a good project to use some of the things that I found. So we're going to make this accordion type piece of ephemera that I saw Julie make over on Camellia Crafts. It's so easy to do. But let's look at what I got a little bit closer. So I want to use one of these cabinet cards with this accordion style ephemera. But look at this. And the back. I have to go back and get more of these. Now they ranged from a dollar up to five dollars, six dollars. Depending the size and I maybe the quality of it I'm not sure oh that got glued upside down <laughs> and it's got some spots there but that's okay for what I want to use it for and then some beautiful postcards with writing and stamps. 
I just love it. I have no idea what this says. I don't even know where it starts. Out. I don't even think... Nope, this is not English. <laughs> Anyways, it's got some texture to it and some glitter for that one. And then there was this one. Paris. Isn't that gorgeous? That's what we try to duplicate copy wow i think that says mexico city and then there is this one the american side of the falls and again that's when postage stamps were two cents something you can trade cards william with William if he wants to. I don't know the cat stuff for don't know. I wrote William. <laughs> I'm having a well time <laughs> from Betsy. <laughs> so neat. Oh, so there's that one. And then another Christmas one. Let's take this out. don't usually associate purple with Christmas, but Christmas thoughts. The stamp, oh, the stamp is upside down, but it was one cent. We wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Your cousins, Oliver and Irene. Uh, I don't know what the last name is. Isn't that cool? Oh, such great finds and their postcards they had so many postcards and they were 25 cents I haven't been able to find that here in St. Thomas uh, one the thrift stores don't keep them but the ones that do are a dollar each so I'm like oh can't afford that and you never see these in the thrift stores not not here and the antique stores and then these beautiful uh, type of books, their collections, they had so many of these. And some of them, I thought I'd grab the one, but some of them don't even have the cut here. At the top, they were still folded, and it was really neat to see. And I thought I'd grabbed that one, but I didn't. There so there were so many I had out looking. I was actually looking for some of the oldest ones that I could find. My friend was looking for me. So this was five dollars as is. She saw the years. Where's the years? Each volume sold separately. This was volume 553 so you know there's a lot of them. Is it in this one? This one. Ooh, it's really falling apart. But so there's that one. So I'm going to use that. And then oh, I have a hard time finding anything to do with butterflies. And we found these in the spider section. Go figure. But here's one. And I love this one. I've already started pulling it apart. So if you don't like that, skip ahead. <laughs> but I was pulling it apart. I love it because you have the pictures on one side and the words on the other side and it's just full of yumminess so I was going to use these as standalone pages cut them out oh my goodness this was my favorite find and actually Sophia found the butterfly stuff so thank you so I'll be looking for this um, wherever I go because I love love it then there was this book with gorgeous, gorgeous butterflies, like a fussy cut or use in 
my pages pocket so there was that and then there was the alphabet butterfly from from scholastics and this was interesting because every letter has a butterfly so here's the letter a on wings aloft across the skies an alphabet of butterflies so you have this and then you have a zoomed in close-up of a part of their wing isn't that cool so this could be a page with the sacrifice of whatever's on this side so I'm gonna have to really think about do I want a fussy cut or do I want a whole page but look at this so this close-up is right there. Isn't that neat? They dance among the forest lights like floating flower petals sprites. Oh, and it's all rhyming. <laughs> and it tells you, too, what kind. At the very bottom, Christmas swallowtail butterfly. Sphinx moth. Like, look, look at the... You wouldn't even tell that that is a butterfly wing. So here, let me see. These are the blue spots. So that would be over here. Oh, look at this one. Each a tiny stringless kite soaring up to treetop height. This is a metal mark butterfly. Look at the turquoise. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have a hard time. <laughs> so I'll be keeping my eye open for this one too maybe in the children's sections of thrift stores but let's move on with our little project today all you need to make the base is a file folder that's it the decorations are whatever you want them to be so let me move everything out of the way and get things ready for this little project so I have my folder here, file folder, just a plain, plain one. You can get four accordion style ephemera pieces out of one file folder. Because each side you get two pieces. And depending on how you cut it, depends on your height and how fat it is. <laughs> First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this part off. And you can see how messy, messy my junk room table is. Now you just decide where do you want to cut it. Hmm. Maybe there. There's no measurements. There's nothing. You just eyeball it. And I'm going to do the f three, one, two, the four, <laughs> four sections because it's really easy math and I need easy math. We just fold it in half. So I might as well do both of them from the one side in half. And before you flip it over, we're going to take the top one and fold it in half might help if you have a bone folder or take your scissors to make those creases then you fold it over and fold it in half again and there you go there's the first one just like that
fold it in half after you cut it take the top one and fold it in half flip it over fold in half and there's your second accordion one so out of a file folder you get four of these and now the fun begins with the decorating and you can decorate these up any way you want so we'll decorate the front this is so you have some writing space and then look at these aren't these the cutest little tags oh my goodness so cute and then I left this for journaling so that's just washi tape and then this is a little belly band that I put there and then we fold it out this way and I left some journaling space there with just some washi tape this is another type of belly band in behind here for a little piece of paper and then you can use this for journaling if it's a standalone piece or you could glue it down in your junk journal and it could be a, a side a side pocket and then it can open up so you can decorate any way you want let's pull these ones in get some of this falling apart book and that's what I'm going to use for my backgrounds book page so there's I use different book pages this and this one was coffee dyed this one already was a little bit on the brown side and then this I did some coffee dyeing as well. I'm going to just see what happens and I'm going to use whatever's on my messy, messy, <laughs> messy desk. It's just not on top. It's all underneath. That's a mess. My chair can hardly move. <laughs> oh, so I need to use what I have on my desk that is my challenge for the summer so I can put that put that there and then again using what's right around me here's a coffee dyed page. It's time that I do some more coffee dyeing. I'm going to try my hand at the bubble blowing. I did that with daycare kids back oh many moons ago. But I love the coffee dyeing. So let's see how wide we need this. And I'm just, there's no measurements. There's no formula. There's just whatever, whatever you like. Now this, I'm going to try to see if I can get it a little bit more. follow that line a little bit you can cover the whole thing if you want there's so many ways yep I like that hmm now that I did that maybe that works better I can't wait to go back to this bookstore good. 
I'm just going to ink around these pieces. And I might as well ink all of this up. This is my favorite color ink. It's first magic. It's water based. Jumbo Java. My favorite. I've been using it for years. Got a little ink happy there in spots, but that's, that's good. And I'm just going to <laughs> my art glitter glue is my favorite. And I glued it on the wrong side. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this one went here. Oh my gosh, it's so old, it just, it's like butter. Just so easy to tear. So whatever you have lying around on your messy <laughs> desk because I can't possibly be the only one that has messiness and you put that like that and then come in with one of these pieces maybe kind of thrown me for a loop. Yep. Don't overthink it. You don't need a lot of this glue. Which is very good. And if you don't like the collaged look, you could just do one, one piece like that. I'm going to stick with leaving writing spots. Decorate this piece here. And because I have this little book here that's falling apart that we just got, I want to use it because it's on my desk. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I need to cut it down a little bit over here. And I'm not even, I'm just using my fingers as my cutting tool, as you can see. No scissors, no ruler.
Yep. And depending on what journal you're making, could depend on how you decorate. Or you can make a whole bunch of these and a, a mass make the bases so that they're ready to go when you have a journal for them. And that'll be writing space, and that'll be writing space. The easiest thing to put on this is a cluster that you've already made. They work really well, those clusters. So if you have any made, which I do <laughs> somewhere, um, that's those are great, to, great to use. I don't know where mine are, so I'm just looking on my desk and I'm seeing some things on my desk here. I'm going to tear that down. Yep, that could work. Here's a little cluster I found. That would be like on the on the long one. Could turn it into a belly band. Let's do that. There. Find a little butterfly. <laughs> and then there you have a little tuck spot. Okay, we'll let that settle. Not too bulky. Come back to this. I, I got distracted when I saw that. If I zoom you out, you'd get distracted too with everything that's on my desk. Oh, yep, that's where these came from little tickets. Let's ink this. It has been really hot here in St. Thomas the last few days. Hot and steamy. I'm going to put that there. I think it needs something else before I glue that down. I was invited to go to one of my students graduation from grade eight. I went to that. See, that's, that's a ready-made base of a cluster that you could just pop on there and voila, you just get a focal point. Let's find a focal point. That is not what we're looking for. <laughs> nice try though. <laughs> These came into the junk room and they're, I think, great focal points. It was our golf tournament fundraiser. For us at work so on Friday I was busy doing that look there just like that maybe get um, a number put there a sent sentiments already there oh look look at this it says note <laughs> forgotten memories Love it. So I had the golf tournament on Friday and it was a lot, a lot of work for me on Friday because I was in charge of organizing prizes, which we were so blessed this year 
to receive from our community. And it was a little mist. Didn't rain too, too much until towards the end. But I was inside, so it didn't affect me too much. And then the graduation on the Friday night and then yesterday, which would have been Saturday, I could not move my body with new aches and pains. So I didn't get a whole lot done yesterday. I did manage to get the laundry done, but that was about it. So I'm just looking for a number. in there. This is number 15. <laughs> and just like that, we got the first one done. So again, I'm just going to use some washi tape. A little bit of that. Now, if I had a little something, something, what if we just use a little B? and put the little bee right there. Lots of <laughs> waffling, as Julie says on her channel. <laughs> For sure. You know what? I'm going to do that. I don't think I'm going to ink them. I think I just want it to kind of blend into the background even though that's delicious coffee dyed paper there let's look at this oh look a bee there we there we go Put that there. Maybe up there. And where did that... I still keep coming back to this. be here all night trying to decide what to do and it shouldn't be like that <laughs> there we go that's the pocket and we could put some little things in here look at that we can even put that bee in there there See? Don't overthink it. This one's already done. And we're going with bees. So I probably put a little bee there. Which just so happens to be right here at my fingertips. Bees. <laughs> so I could stamp a bee right there. I've had this ink pad forever. Right, we can just stamp him right on there. 
right there. There he is. Put that back. Okay, so this one is, this one's done. Just put something in behind there so that we know there's something there. I need something a little bit bigger. <laughs> Anything? Nope. Oh, here's some bigger. Nope, too big. Okay, we'll find something. There, that's done. That's done. We'll put some washi tape on this one. You could stamp on this. You could just leave it blank. You could use a stencil on this. And then we just have this one. <laughs> oh my goodness, Sherry. Nope. What do we want to do on this one? We did a little pocket here, a belly band there, a cluster here. What about... I was at one of our thrift stores and got this big roll. It is a little bit thicker, but there's so much on it. <laughs> but I picked it up. And we'll just bunch it up. Put it like here. This wasn't supposed to be a long video. <laughs> and I thought I'd get at least two done. Better planning next time. Okay. I would not call this my best work. I like the other one better, my prototype. I don't know why, I just do. It came, this one came together so much easier than this one, but here it is. So set your journal there, fill up this little pocket. And then we have the tuck spot. And behind here. I still have to get a piece of paper, which probably just fold up a piece of paper for journaling. And it can go in behind here. Did that. There. <laughs> Little journaling spot. Not that you would journal on this paper, but it shows there's something back there. And then journaling spot there and a tuck spot here. Just a little decorative piece there. file folders. So easy to do and great way to start cleaning up your desk of all the bits and pieces laying around. The key <laughs> will be don't overthink it too much. Our verse today is one of my 
favorite ones when I was growing up that I memorized. And it said, God is our refuge and strength and ever present help in times of trouble. Psalm 46 verse one. Hope this encourages you today. Have a great day, everybody.